Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Yes, you are, Lord. Come on, say it again, Waymaker. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. That is who you are. Yes, you are, Lord. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Turn us around, Lord. Yes, Lord. I worship you. I worship you. Thank you. You are here. Mending every heart. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Because you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Turn around and tell somebody, if God said it, 
chapter 4. Where the prophet, he had prophesied a baby boy to come. And the yeah. boy came. But the Bible said the boy grew up some. And there was a day he went out to the reapers with his father. And he said, my head, my head. Next thing you know, the boy went. They took him back to his mama. Next thing you know, the boy was dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What come do on. you do when, you, when God gave you a promise and now it looks like it's dying? Come on. tell you what the answer is right here. When it looks like it's dead, and it just might be. Say it! Come on! Can I tell y'all what the prophet Elisha went back and did? Come on, talk the Bible about. said that Elisha went back to the role, and first thing he did was pray. Yeah. The Lord says, tell you, don't give up on praying. But then he did something else, and I want y'all to catch this in the Holy Ghost. He was so confident in God and who God created him to be and the power of the anointing that was on his life. <laughs> the Bible said he went and laid on the Lord's body. Yeah. 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 What are you saying, Law? I'm telling you, God told me to tell somebody. Everywhere I've been going, he's been telling me, tell the people, put your weight on it. Woo! Come on. Put your weight on it in worship. Yeah. Put your weight on it in faith. Yeah. Put your weight on it in your fasting. Put your weight on it in your prayer. Yes. Now watch this, and I'm going to move. But what happened next, ladies and gentlemen, was the Bible said when he laid on the boy's body, mouth to mouth, eye to eye, hand to hand, the body grew warm. Yeah. We got one problem. The boy still wasn't back alive. Not all the way. In essence, he was in a coma, but he was warm. We got one problem with a lot of believers. We see a little progress in a situation, and that's when we relent and we stop. No, come on. When I hear the voice of the Lord saying to tell the people of God tonight, this ain't the time to let up. This ain't the time to quit. Whatever you've been confessing, whatever you've been believing, you better keep saying it. You better keep laying on it. Keep putting your weight on it. Because watch this. The Bible declares that when he got through, he got up on the boy. Come on. He walked around for a while. Yeah. Went back at it. Laid back on the boy again. When he laid on him again, the boy speed seven times. Uh. Woo. What are you saying, preacher? I'm telling you that seven times he sneezes. Yeah. Sneezing is an involuntary motion. Uh -huh. Yeah. Y'all gonna kiss me in just yeah. a moment. Come on. I said sneezing is and yeah. what? Involuntary. Involuntary. The devil's not gonna want to let you go. Come on. But it's gonna be involuntary. Yeah. Come on. Your miracles got about to be involuntary. Yeah. It's gonna happen unexpectedly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, after he sneezed seven times, the boy was awakened. Uh, yeah, yeah. All because the prophet put his weight on it. So I prophesy in this atmosphere. The Lord said, put your weight on it. Because he's still Waymaker. Thank you, Lord. Now, tell thank, them, you, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Dallas, thank Florida. you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank, you, thank, you, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, you, you Lord. Thank you. Are you putting your weight on it? Your thanksgiving is putting your weight thank on you, it. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Glory to God. Even when I, I can't, can't see it, you working. Even when I can't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never 
stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I can't see it, you're working. Even when I can't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Come on, tell somebody. Even when I can't see it, he's working. Even when I can't feel it, he's working. He's never stopped. He never stops working. Yes. Now prophesy to them. Even though you can't see it, he's working. Even though you can't feel it, he's working. He never stops. He never stops working. Tell that neighbor, even though, even though you can't see it, he's working. Even though you can't feel it, he's working. Never stops. He never stops in your behalf. He never stops working. I really want this to get in your spirit. I'm turning it back into the hands of Bishop. But I want this to get in your spirit. Thank you. Because you need to know he never stops working. Whatever you just shift to change it back. Listen, he never stops working. Come on. And the problem with most of us is this. We tend to get the belief that because I don't feel it. Uh, yeah. Come on, talk to me. To 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 <laughs> yes. I was just remember, reminded in my spirit. In aviation, Bishop, they have what's called VFR, yeah. and they have IFR, or IRF, excuse me, IRF. IRF and VRF. Now, what do you mean? VRF means visually rated flying. Yeah. And I submit to you that that's where a lot of believers are operating. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's VRF is where a lot of believers are operating. Visual flight rules. <laughs> so in other words, when they have VRF or visually rated flying or visual flight rules, however you want to call it, what happens is you're flying by what you can see. The pilots are operating by what they can see. And that's where most of us are. But when you understand that when you're a pilot, sometimes you're going to go through some clouds. <laughs> Come on. And you're not going to be able to yeah. see. That's where they have the IFR kick in. Instrumented flight rating. Yeah, yeah. Or instrumented rules of flight. In other words, you got to look at the instruments that were given to you that dictate to you where you're going and where you are and what you need to do next. See, when you begin to mature, I hear God right here. I don't know who this is for, but I'm talking to somebody right now. Watch, when you begin to mature, you begin to operate in IFR. Yeah. Yeah. You're not visually rated anymore. Yeah. I don't have to depend on what I see. Come on. Yeah. I walk by faith. faith. I walk by. Come on. I can't hear a talk back, church. Let me try that again. I walk, walk by, by faith. faith. That's my instrument. Don't get disturbed. Faith is your instrument. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you're going to fly higher. Yes, sir. When you're flying visually, watch this. You got to have reference points. Huh? When you fly visually, yeah. you have to have ground references to fly visually. Yeah. But in 
this place right here that God's trying to take some of us to, I have no visual reference. Because once you get above the clouds, once you get above a certain number of feet, you can't see where you are. That's right. You gotta trust your instruments. You gotta trust your instruments to be taking you. If you're supposed to be going east, you're going east. You gotta trust your instruments that if you're supposed to be going west, they're taking you west. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the Lord's speaking to somebody, and I know He is. Because I'm realizing God does not send me anywhere. And he does not expect an atmosphere change. Come on. Mama Julie texted me earlier. Now, I have been in services. This is my third service for the day. Yeah. I had somewhere else I was supposed to be. I was. But one more time, God said, you need to get out to the river. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and here I am at the river. And if I did not come here to prophesy or to speak to anybody but one person, I'm here for that one person. Yes, sir. To be honest with you, I feel like I'm here for your leader. Amen. I feel like I'm here for Bishop. Now, if y'all just happen to catch it, then you just eavesdropped. <laughs> And if I ain't got it right, y'all aviation folk out there, y'all just be mad. Be all right. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. This is the season when you're going to fly by instruments and not by vision. God's going to cause you to walk in a level of faith that you've not had to walk in before. Even what you experienced about a week ago, God demanded of you to walk by faith. Sylvia, God demanded of you to walk yes, sir. in faith. Yes, sir. And it wasn't that you didn't have emotional moments. <laughs> yes. But in the midst of your emotional moments, you still had to ground yourself on the instruments that you knew. Yes, sir. I declare and decree. Come on, come on, son. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. That there is to be ministry. Yes. Of IFR flying all across the world. Mm -hmm. IFR is coming to this house. Yes. You will not be a people who live your lives governed by your emotions, you. by your personal feelings, Jesus. and by what you can see. Mm. This house will be a house that is filled with faith. And where there's faith in God, there is much power available. Yes. This is the hour that you must spend time in prayer. I didn't even have time to listen to change clothes today, y'all. I preached, changed clothes, got out of the pulpit, went home and laid, home, laid down for a minute, and I had to be in a prayer meeting. It started at 4. I didn't wake up until 4.45. The Lord says, still get there. I didn't have time to change clothes. I went just like this. We don't care. <laughs> I didn't stop to change clothes to come here. I came just like this. It's all right. I'm telling you now, saints of God, you are not to fly visually. Come on. In this hour. Speak. This is not it. You must be in the prayer chamber. Mm -hmm. Every person that is connected to the river, you must be in the prayer chamber. Because here's what you need to understand. In the prayer chamber, you grow to understand your identity. Mm. When you understand that, y'all get me like this every time. Bishop. I preached Acts chapter 19 today where the special miracles are wrought at the hands of Paul. Now it opens up talking about the miracles that were done by the hands of Paul and the handkerchiefs and aprons that came from it. Yeah, we talked about that this morning. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
But watch what happens. In that same text between verse 11 and verse 20, there's a contrast. Mm -hmm. The contrast is this. In verse 11 and 12, around that point, when they're talking about Paul doing special miracles and people coming to know God, coming to know the Lord Jesus, it was because Paul had identity in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Come on. But then it turns around and says, seven sons of Sceva. Don't mess with it. Leave it alone. Seven sons of Sceva. Zagabon Jews mm -hmm. who called themselves exorcists. And the people called them exorcists. Watch this. You know why the people called them exorcists? Y'all want to know why? Talk yes. To Come on. Yes. Come on. The people called them exorcists because these folk knew how to put on a good show. Mm. Mm. Come on. They had, here it is, they had image. Mm. Mm. Well, they had image. Paul had identity. When the devil sees image, yeah, shy, quarter, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all ready? Yeah. Can, can we walk with just about well, okay. Come on. Come on. Walk in, walk on. Listen. The devil is not intimidated by image when the image is not initiated by identity. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. What did you just say, Long? He's not intimidated by an image that is not initiated by identity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me prove it by the Bible. When God made man, he made him in his image, image and in his likeness. Yeah. Yeah. When Jesus died on the cross, we were, uh, the Bible called us once wild grapes. Huh. Am I in the book, Bishop? Yeah, come on, come on. It said we were wild grapes. But we were taken from that vine into the new vine. Yeah. Yeah. So we were engrafted into the new vine, which means our identity has now been re-identified. Come on. You were of your father, the devil. Come on, talk here. Yeah. yeah. But now I'm of my father, God. Okay, yes. Bible readers. He says, I was sent for. I'm a royal priesthood. Mm. Say that. I'm a royal priesthood. I'm a royal priesthood. Chosen generation. Chosen generation. Sent to show forth the praises of him who called me out of darkness into, light. into the kingdom of, of his dear son. Kingdom of light. Right? Yes. In other words, I've got identity. identity. We have not received the spirit of bondage. I need to talk the book real quick. The book says we have not received the Come spirit out. of bondage again unto fear. But it says we have received the spirit Come of. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where, where are you? Yeah. Where, Come on. What, what have you received? The spirit of adoption. Yeah. Come on. yeah. Uh-huh. You're with I'm trying not to. <laughs> Might as well. Work it, sir. Work, Work it. it. You received the spirit of what? Adoption. Y'all not saying it with authority. The spirit adoption. of adoption. Watch this. There's a difference between foster children and adopted children. Yeah. Uh -huh. Foster children, you're only there temporarily. Come but on. You've been adopted. Your Come on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Come on. So when you, watch this, so Paul had a knowledge of his identity. Uh -huh. Can I bless you real quick? Come on. Yeah. Bishop, you know, it messed me up. <laughs> when I went back and I studied this, you know, some people think that Paul went and he, you know, immediately jumped into ministry to the Gentiles and so on and so forth. But I found out that according to Galatians 1.17, he talked about that he went to Arabia. Yeah. Uh. And 18, he actually said he did not come back to Jerusalem for three years. Uh oh. That's it. Now, what scholars believe, now I'm just going to say what the scholars believe when in studying it, and I tend to, now looking at it, I tend to believe this. Paul was a smart man. Yeah. Yes, he was. Yeah. Intelligent, trained at the school of Gamaliel. Yeah. He was a smart man. Yeah. He knew the old, he was zealous for the Old Testament. Mm. Yeah. He was zealous for the word that he knew. Are y'all catching me? Come on. Yeah. Are y'all with me tonight? Yeah. yeah. Come on. He was zealous for the word that he knew, which was Old Testament teaching, Old Testament covenant teaching. Yeah. 
So that's why he was so zealous against fight or to fight against the church. Yeah. But when he had an encounter Come on. with this yes. Jesus. Yes. Come on. When he had an encounter with Jesus. Watch this. The scholars believe that when he went to Arabia, it was something of a spiritual getaway. So he can now reconcile within himself all the stuff that he knew from the old days, all the stuff that he knew from before, and now something new was happening on the inside Come on. of him yeah. that was unexplainable. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you are getting Come ready on. to have an encounter. Yeah. Yeah.
said, devil, you might see me crying now. Come on. But don't think, don't mistake my tears for weakness. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. My son's going to be all right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything's going to be well. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, it's already all right. See, that's how you talk when you know your identity. I can't hear anybody talking back Come on. Come on. Come on. I said, that's how you talk when you know who you are. Yeah. You ain't been, see, that's why I told you. The only way you're going to be able to put your weight on anything. Yeah. Talk about putting your weight on it, right? Yeah. Only way you're going to be able to put your weight on it is that you've been in the chamber. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. In the prayer chamber is where you discover your identity. Because that's where your daddy talks to you. Come on. Come on. The way you learned about your family heritage and history was when your parents talked to you or your grandparents or whoever it was in your family sat you down in private moments and shared with you family history. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Am I talking yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. The only way you got to know who and what was when they sat down in the private moments and talked to you and shared with you background. Yes, yes sir. How in the world do you think you're going to be anointed and you have no prayer life. Uh-oh. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. How in the world do you think you are going to put your weight on it and you have no prayer life? Mm. Yeah. Come on. Watch this and I'm done. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Watch this. The Lord said something to me today. It messed me up. He says, when you have been in the chamber... And you learn your identity. Watch this. I, I hear God for somebody right now. Come on. Because like, it, it's like a child who all their life, all they hear is you're stupid. Over and over they hear yeah. you're stupid, you're stupid, you're Come stupid, you're stupid. What you hear is what you, is what you believe. Yeah. Yeah. Hear it long enough, you believe it. Yeah. Yep. Many of you sitting right here have been framed. Your world, your mindset, your thinking has been framed by your experiences, by what people have said, by what they have done. Your whole life has been framed by that. And where you are right now is a result of what was framed on the inside of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is why you got to get in the chamber and you watch you were of your father the devil. That's why your mindset is what it is. It's jacked up because at one point you were of your father the devil. But in this hour, God is going in. If you'll get in the chamber, he's rooting out all that Come stuff. Come on, yes. Yeah. in your yes. Yeah. in your spirit. Yeah. When you were over here in the kingdom of darkness, he's rooting that stuff out. Break it down. He's pulling all that stuff yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Get it up out of you. Somebody yes. say, get it out of me, God. Get, get it out, out of me, God. Get it out of me. I don't want to think like that anymore. I don't want to operate like that anymore. Come on. How? How am I going to start to operate and not live like that? Mm. He's got to dig all of that out. Rota, and put in something new. Yeah. What is he putting in? He's putting up, he said, I'm going to put a new spirit in you. New spirit. Am I in the book? Yeah, he come said, on. A new spirit. New spirit. <laughs> he said, I'm going to change your nature. Yeah. When your identity changes and you recognize your identity change, your nature changes. Yeah. God have mercy. Come on. Amen. Yeah. So, the Lord says, in this hour, I'm calling you to the chamber so I can talk to you. I'm not going to talk to you about everything else around. Come on. Mm -mm. I hear the Lord. I hear him so plainly right now. He says, tell the body of Christ. Yeah. See, I'm not just here preaching to the river. There are folks that are watching my social yeah. media. And I'm going to share this on my page too. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you right now that God is speaking to the body of Christ. When I call you to the chamber now, I'm not calling you to the chamber to talk to you about everybody else. Come on. He said, I'm going to call you to the chamber and I'm going to talk to you about you. Yes. I'm going to teach you who you really Come on. are. I'm going to teach you what identity looks like. I'm going to teach you what it looks like to walk in my presence and walk as a son of God. And when I teach you that, then you can walk with power and dominion and not with your head hung down. All right. Some of you are walking around low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. yep. Come on. Emotional baggage. 
Yeah. From here is gone by. I see it. Mm -hmm. Emotional baggage. Mm -hmm. Carrying. Yeah. Somebody ought to say, I ain't carrying that anymore. I ain't carrying that anymore. I don't carry that no more. I, I'm almost there. I, I, I'm trying. I really am. But Bishop, you're pushing me. Okay. I'm blaming on him. Hey. Oh, God. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. I'm not carrying that anymore. Say that. I'm not carrying that I'm anymore. I'm not carrying that anymore. Watch this. <laughs> so here's what happens. Since I'm not carrying it anymore, I refuse to walk with my head down. Now, if y'all don't shout when I say this, if y'all don't <laughs> give God some kind of praise when I say this, I'm going to question whether you really got the Holy Ghost or not. Uh-oh. <laughs> I refuse to walk with my head hung down because watch what happens. The book says, lift up your head. Yeah. 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 Come on. Wait a minute. Come on. That ain't the shouting part. Well. Oh, ye gates. Yeah. Be ye lifted up. Yeah. Ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory. Y'all not talking. Come the on. King of glory. Y'all still not talking. The king of glory. glory. Do you not understand, ladies and gentlemen, that glory carries <laughs> weight? Oh. That, that was where you're supposed to pray. That's glory. I said glory carries yeah. weight. Yes. Glory. When I've been in the chamber and I understand my identity, when I know who I am, yeah. my head is no longer hung down. My head is lifted up. And because my head is lifted up, when I lift up my head, yeah. oh, yeah. Gates, when my yeah. head is lifted up, the everlasting door, the king of glory yeah. is coming in. And Yes. Thank you. Do I have a church in here? That yes. Glory. All you got to do is start lifting up your head. Yeah. Now you can't do it in your own strength. The ability to lift your head is what you gain from the chamber. Yeah. Are you hearing me tonight? Yes, sir. So that's why you cannot be a believer who's distracted in this hour. Cannot. You've got to have chamber time. Because in your chamber time, it's coming the ability to lift your head. Watch this. If you can lift your head, the Bible says glory is coming. Not just any kind of glory, but the king of glory is going to come in. And, and even though I, I can take off running down this aisle when I say this, it doesn't just say that the key of glory is coming in. He starts asking who is. Uh, who is? Who is the king of glory? Who is the king of glory? It, it starts to ask a question. Who? Who is, is this the king, king of glory? Of glory? What's Jesus the answer? Christ. It's not, it, well, yes, it is Jesus, but it answers in the text. It says the Lord. The Lord. God of Bible readers talk back to me. Yes. Who it says the Lord. The Lord. And it, said, it gives you an attribute. Strong and mighty. Yeah. Strong and mighty. Hallelujah. See, lifting your head causes glory to show up. The weight of glory causes God. His strength gets manifested. Are y'all hearing me? That's a song. Amen. If you will, I don't know who I'm talking to, but if you'll get in the chamber and gain your identity, <laughs> You won't walk with your head hung down. Your head will be lifted. When your head gets lifted, where's your head lifted? I will lift up my eyes. <laughs> Unto the hills from which come my help. See, when your head gets lifted, guess who's coming? King the king of glory. glory. Glory carries weight. Light. And if glory carries weight, things have to move. Uh, uh, uh. I talked about the glory of God this morning. It's coming to this house. <laughs> Well, I guess I came to help tell you how yeah, to get it. That's it. <laughs> the chamber is going to cause you to learn your identity. You'll learn your identity, and your head will be what? Lifted. Lift. When you lift your head, King of Who's come in? Glory. When the King of Glory comes in, it brings 
Wait. wait. When the wait comes, it's going to shift things. It's going to change things. Nothing can stay the same when the weight of glory yes. shows up. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Y'all didn't believe that. Yes. yes. I did. Oh, man. Come on. Most people don't believe it. Say I it again. Need you to believe it tonight. Say it again. Come on. I need you to believe it tonight. Yeah. When the glory, glory shows, shows up, up, nothing. Oh. Can remain Pain. the way it's been. Woo. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Watch this. The glory will shake some stuff. Thank you. In it's Hebrews, it says this. It says, There's I will shake going on. the things that can be shaken. Yeah. So that the things that can not, not be, be shaken, shaken will remain. My identity can't be shaken. Amen. I did this in my church this morning, and this is going to be my close tonight. I wasn't trying to preach. Y'all just pushed me. <laughs> That's good. This is my close. I did this in my church this morning. I said, y'all get in your mind some things that need to be shared. Mm. Not just, now see, don't, don't try to be cute. Yeah. Mm. That's what we try to do. We try to have our little church stuff. Uh. You know, I need my finances shifted. I need my money to shift. Uh -uh. I need, you know. I need my family to No, there's some stuff in you that needs to be shipped. Yes, sir. If you've not been walking by faith and you've been walking by VFR, mm -hmm. y'all thought I forgot, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. You've been, you, you've been walking by your VFR? Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? You need some stuff to shift in you. Yeah. So I want you to get in your mind whatever needs to be changed. Whatever you need God to shake in your life, whatever you need the weight of glory to sit on in your life until it breaks. Whatever you need the weight of glory to sit on until it breaks. Get it in your mind. Right now, get it in your mind. Watch this. I told you, Paul, a special miracles happening. Because he had identity. Bible says whatever you bind on earth is what? Talk back to me, believers. Whatever you bind on earth is? Shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth is? Loosed in heaven. So if you've been dealing with poverty and lack, what you going to do to that? I can't hear you. What are you going to do? Bind it. Y'all still not talking good. I said, what are you going to do? Bind it. Loose it. You're going to bind it. I bind yeah. the spirit of poverty, poverty. From, from over my, my life. life. I bind lack from, from over my, my life. life. Well, if I bound poverty, what am I going to lose? Increase. Thank you, baby. Increase what? Prosperity. Talk loud, sir. Prosperity. Pro what else? Abundance. The abundance supply. Overflow. Yeah. Do I have a talk about that church? Come on. Deliverance. So, whatever you bind. Anybody been dealing with some sickness in your body? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yes. I need you to open your mouth. This is what this was, this is what I gave the assignments for people of God today. Whatever you got going on right now that you need the weight of glory to sit on. Yeah. Now I had to remind them that Elisha, Elisha when he went in that room, had to pray multiple times. Yeah. He had to put his weight on it multiple times. Ladies and gentlemen, even Jesus laid hands multiple, multiple times. times. So that means just because you say it now doesn't mean you back up off it after you say it tonight. All right. You ride in your car and say, I bind poverty from over my life. Come on. I lose abundance, abundance. in my life. Yeah. I bind sickness, sickness. My, from, from over my life. I, I lose, lose health. health. Yeah. Not just healing. Uh-uh. No. Help. Yeah. Help. 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 Be my I don't own. just lose healing because if I lose healing but I don't lose health the enemy's going to try and come back and put the same mess on me again but I release divine help, help, help. to flow in the name through of Jesus. my bones, yes. through my marrow, Thank through you. my blood vessels in the name of yeah. Jesus yeah. Thank you. come on here Thank you. anybody with me? Work yes it, so now stand to your feet everybody Stand on your feet. 
Nobody listening to anybody else's stuff. Whatever you need God to put his weight on. Whatever you need the weight of glory to sit on until it breaks. Start declaring that thing. Call it out. And say, I bind you now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I bind this, I bind that. Call it out. Individually, call it out. You can whisper, call it out. And bind it right now. Come on. Obey the word of the Lord right now. As I speak as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, I need you to begin to bind right now the things that need to be bound in your life. Bind whatever needs to be bound from your life. Bind it now. Do spiritual warfare. Bind it. Open your mouth. Come on. Jesus. Uh-uh. Don't speak in tongues right now. Open your mouth. Use your English language and bind up what needs to be bound. Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Whatever you need to bind, bind it. And then when you get done binding, switch over and loose the opposite of that thing. Help them my life. Come on. I hear you. If you've been dealing with emotional distress, then you need joy. So I bind emotional distress and I release joy. In the name of Jesus. If you've been dealing with the spirit of anxiety and depression, well, what are we going to do? We bind anxiety in the name of Jesus. I command it, although I don't know who I'm talking to. It might be in social media. But listen, whoever you are, you might even be on pills for anxiety. I speak in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bind up the attack of that spirit in Jesus' name. We bind you now. We cast you down. And we declare that anxiety is not a part of our benefit package. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, we bind anxiety. What we lose Jesus. I lose the peace of God. Oh, hallelujah. That passes all understanding. I lose the peace of God. I lose the peace of God. Come on, declare it. Yes, I lose the peace of God. Now listen, if you can't, if you're not the one that needs it, declare it over your brother. Declare it over your sister. You don't even have to touch them to declare it. You're saying, I declare peace over them in the name of Jesus. Thank you. I'm done Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Come here, daughter. Come here, quick, 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 quick. There's an anointing here. Deliverance and freedom. Deliverance and freedom here now in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Jesus. Breakthrough. Breakthrough in your mind, in your mind. Yes, now. in the name of Jesus. Glory be In the name of Jesus. Ah, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, ma'am. Yes, in the name of Jesus. I come against every demonic assignment against this daughter's life now. I need your prayers, I yeah, because when I was talking about stuff that goes back to your childhood. She This goes back to the childhood. It's got to break.